we will go out to England. Uh, our buddy Phil is calling us and uh, has has a question for us. What uh, what do you got for us, Phil? You're hanging out with Johnny P and Secular Rarity. Yeah, hi, Johnny. Look, how do you know that God's not going to get you? Mm. I mean, you're mocking him all the time. You, you take the piss yeah. out of him. You, you basically... Giving your you own believe... opinion about things, but how do you know that? I mean, look, the Old Testament God, he's not a nice guy, is he? He's pretty, Phil. he's almost like King Ashurbanipal Phil. of Assyria. Yeah. Phil, yeah. can you hear me? Sweet. Uh, can hear you. Do, do you believe in a, a deity of some kind? Look, do I you used personally... to truly believe in the Christian faith, but now I really don't know where I stand. Yeah. And I that's kind fair. of question whether, uh, what if. What if God's not actually God? What if we're just like genetically modified apes created in some scientific experiment by some interdimensional be. beings? And, could could be the and, case, you know, right? Could also be the case that uh, we're actually all figments of Johnny's imagination and he's just a brain in a vat. We could be uh, just a tiny, you know, speck of dust exploding and everything that we think have happened for the last, you know, hundreds of years all made up and fake. Yeah, we, we could just have fake memories that aliens gave us yesterday. Um, we, we, the we, reason... We could be dreaming inside the schizophrenic brain, couldn't we? Sure, yeah, yeah all that stuff. Knows Maybe. The, Maybe not. The, the, the issue, the issue about all of these things for me, Phil, is that yeah. the, the question has to be asked, which is, what information do we have available to us that positively indicates any one of these outcomes and nothing else? If at the end of the day, what we have is we have in one hand, like, yeah, I guess it could be aliens. There's nothing logically impossible about aliens coming down to Earth and taking, you know, ancient cow looking things and then like forming them in a weird way and then suddenly making these kind of ape things, you know, that talk and make art or whatever. Could be that. But we really don't have any reason to to believe that or accept that as true. But then, see, there's this other thing over here, too, where, I don't know, it could be a turtle's dream in outer space that we're all a part of, right? But again, at the end of the day, we don't have anything for either of these. The The best information yeah, that we have do have... Certainties. Say again? We do not have any certainties. We just... We believe. I mean, we don't know what we really believe, whether it's true or false. We have no idea. We just have our own ideas of what is truth, but none of us really knows. That's why I can know be what I profound things in the. Sure, I think that you're, you're sort of... saying, "Tell me what's the truth." You know. Well, uh, Phil, I, th yeah, I think you're hang, sort of. Hang on you're just sort a second, of... Phil. I think you're I think you're sort of conflating two things. We don't know what we believe, and we don't know what is true are two different things. I honestly can say, I don't believe, I don't, I don't, I don't personally possess an affirmative belief mm -hmm. that aliens reformed cows into a primate like being that, that turned into humans. I can say that now it, am I, am I mistaken okay. that, that, uh, that, that my belief is well, it exists, but it's wrong. I should believe it because there's sufficient evidence. Um, Phil, before you, I guess, not saying you are doing this, but before one spins out of control with what could be possible, <laughs> I think that, and I'm not saying you're doing this. I'm not. I, I think you're just sort of expressing yourself, the, the uncertainties of, of the human condition. But before one frets and and marinates on all of the possibilities uh for me i need to i need to see what is there sufficient evidence what do i recognize as sufficient evidence mm -hmm. to honestly uh support the truth the truth value of one of these assertions um and honest honestly when it comes right down to it all of the god beliefs all of the so-called spiritual supernatural extra dimensional yeah. alien life yeah, yeah, yeah. related claims are are just that they're just a bunch of words with no support or no good support yeah. so i just live in a state of uncertainty but what i do know right is that i have yeah. certain natural tendencies 
certain natural desires and revulsions and fears. I have certain joys. I experience, I, I legitimately experience compassion and joy and all these things. And so if this is a simulation, if this is an illusion by a space wizard, it's a pretty darn good one. So I'm going along with it for now. And, uh -huh. and you know what I mean? And so I'm going along with the, well, I've got to eat the space wizard, the Elon Musk, uh, computer programmer, deity, whatever is, has done such a good job of convincing its creations that it must take in foodstuffs that I'm just going to go along with it mm -hmm. as I figure things out. And when you start adding up all the things that, that the illusion requires of you that the illusion does to you it starts becoming uh yeah kind of a full-time job right um yeah. okay so what do you do yeah what is your full-time job hello well so what he was what what he was saying there phil with the full-time job and please johnny correct me if i was misunderstanding what he's saying is that the information that we do have at the end of the day that does positively indicate a singular outcome seems to be very much heavily on the side of this stuff around us is, is probably actually around us. And a lot of the stuff that we've come to understand over thousands and thousands of years, we've, mm -hmm. we've stacked on top of that, right? It's not like we just came up with math yesterday, right? Calculus, a very advanced <laughs> form of mathematics was created way back in like the 1500s, right? And I think really what Johnny was getting at there was just to say, kind of wrapping up from what he was saying initially, which is instead of spending so much time focusing on, hey, this thing could be possible. There's nothing, you know, illogical technically about it. We may not have anything that tells us this is true, but it could be the case. Instead of spending so much time worrying about all of those, which are literally infinite, Mm -hmm. let's work on the stuff that we do have and we do have good reason to accept and that stuff that we've been stacking on top of for, for thousands and thousands of years. I, I think that's more what he was saying when he was saying it's a full-time job to take into account this simulation if it is that, right? It's, it's so good that apparently every so often my tummy goes grumble, 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 and if I don't get food, I tend to be cranky. That, that's and those, normally how it works. And those but, people who don't, and those no. people who don't honor those, those uh, manifestations of the illusion, end up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. gaming, gaming over, right? In the illusion. Yeah. Well, look, so, listen, the, if the Gnostic Christians believed that we lived in a kind of a matrix, that it was a simulated reality, sure. Hindus believe that same thing. Buddhists believe it. Harry Krishnas believe it. Who's to say that they're all wrong and that you're right? The Even question is the it. question is whether or not we have sufficient reason to accept those claims. Because see, you say, hey, the Hari Krishnas believe this, the Hindus believe this, the Buddhists believe this. I, I got a buddy Bill, he believes that you're not real. I, I got a friend Terry, he yeah. believes you're not real. I got a friend, Joey, he believes you're not real. So who's to say they're they're wrong and you're right? I mean, right? So what, what we're doing at the end of the day here, Phil, is we're spending a lot of time on these things that we don't have good backing to accept as true. I have absolutely no problem if it turns out in reality that we really are in a simulation and that the, all of this is made up, you know? There's no skin off my nose, in my opinion, because I'm just made up with the rest of reality. But the issue seems to be there isn't anything to indicate that. We don't have anything right Neil now. De Neil, Go ahead. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a very eminent astrophysicist, he believes it as well. I mean, there are so many people out there, some top silicon. Yeah, but people. just because, just because like any individual person believes any individual claim, that has no bearing on whether or not the claim is true. What if I, again, what if I, what if I told you my, my next door neighbor, my next door neighbor's a great guy, Hernandez, super cool dude. Uh, Hernandez believes that we're actually all floating in some gigantic astrological uh, toilet. I, I don't know. I mean, wh why, why do you take Neil deGrasse Tyson's 
individual belief on something that doesn't have any evidence over over my neighbor. What's the difference between the two? They're both just individuals making claims. If either of them has information yeah. that backs up that claim and positively indicates that singular outcome, well, then I'll listen to them. I don't give a crap if they're an astrophysicist or not. They actually yeah. have, you know, information <laughs> and, and evidence, right? Sure. And does, does Neil deGrasse Tyson actually believe that? Um, I, I have not Good heard question. him say that. You can say that, but does yeah. he? And even if he did, who cares? He, he's a, he's a, he's an imminent astrophysicist. Okay. Great. Does astrophysics, yeah. uh, does expertise in astrophysics somehow give you an irrefutable, uh, authority to make claims about things outside of the natural universe? No. Right. I, I know some fantastic yeah. doctors and lawyers and other people who mm -hmm. are amazing, who I talked about him before. My friend Chris believes in a 6,000 year old earth. If I got into any kind of legal trouble and I could afford to hire him, I would hire him to get me out of that legal trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that I believe that his, uh, that his, that his beliefs about the, the, uh, the universe is, is, is accurately true? No, I absolutely do not. But he knows the, the rules of civil procedure and criminal procedure too, I'm mm -hmm. sure. He's so good at, he's so good at civil law. He's gotta be good at criminal law. Even that is, is not true. And those two are far more related to each other than astrophysics and metaphysics. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, so I'm not with you, Phil. Okay, so look, with regard to your own personal beliefs, yeah. The, yeah, you just sat on the fence, you don't really believe in anything other than the fact that, you know, we're here, we eat, we drink, we fart, we sleep, we have sex, and we grow old and die. Is that basically how you see life? Not, Absolutely not. for me personally. Not. I yeah. believe in a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I believe in a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. and I, I have I have lots of things that, that you know, motivate me to to be a good person right not just for um the selfish aspect of it but there is that like i i can just honestly tell you i just feel good when i'm a nice person you know and i feel bad when i'm mean to people you know um yeah. but yeah like i i i i believe that and, and you know hey maybe it's just a totally silly belief but i really do believe that the course of human history for the most part is is going in a good direction and i and i think we have an opportunity to keep pushing it in that direction which is which is why i i like to do stuff like this you know because mm -hmm. there are people out there who have been hurt by not only religion but also just in general bad claims just claims that don't have evidence and mm -hmm. and like johnny said i've had friends before that have gone down this spiral where you know, first they're questioning whether or not they're a brain in a vat, and then they're questioning whether or not aliens, and then now we've got, you know, 9-11 truther and flat earth and birds aren't real and all this stuff. And and uh, at the end of the day, for me, I, I see the harm that that brings to not only my friends, but just other people. And I want to try and minimize that. And I, I believe that it can be done. I, I believe that we can make positive changes in the world and and push push more and more people into a better state of well-being, you know? I mean, yeah, I guess I do at the end of the day recognize that the majority of what human life seems to be is exactly what you were talking about. Like we wake up, we're hungry, we eat food, we stub our toe, we yell real loud. Oh no, we're in pain. Somebody cuts us off in traffic. Like, yeah, totally. All of that crap, man. Our dogs <laughs> don't, you, our dogs don't crap I, when we take them out to walk them before the show. And we walk them around correct. in circles. Sometimes dogs they, do that. <laughs> they have to crap, but they won't crap. So he's going to start whining any second now. Yeah, that's the reality. <laughs> Hey, let me let me let me add to this. Actually, Phil, what is what is thy response to what uh, SR just said about that? And then I want to say something, and I want you to respond to me. So, what your thoughts? Okay. Yeah, please say something here. Yeah. No, no, no. What, what, do you what are your What are your thoughts to to SR's uh, uh, explanation that he just yeah. gave you? And because I don't want to piggyback on that, I want to hear what you have to think about that. Yeah, did I did I get something wrong? Do you think I missed something or? Oh, 
we might unfortunately have oh, lost no. it. That's okay. Hey, Johnny, well, what was that thing back. you were going to say? Go ahead and say. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, eating, sleeping, dogs crapping, things like that, uh, stubbing mm -hmm. toes, farting, mm -hmm. like you said. Please forgive me for using that word, but yep. yes. I mean, it's, it's a reality of life. <laughs> Is that the only thing that I believe in? Because I don't believe in ghosts and ghoulies and goblins and, you know, Sephiroth or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. That's like saying the human body is made out of carbon and oxygen and lithium and different chemicals and that's it mm. right the fact is yeah. that the particular wonderful arrangement of in some in some instances more wonderful than others of of, of human beings of those chemicals those chemicals and their interactions and the the way they're put together leads to this entirely different world of anatomy and the anatomy interacts with each other in such a way that it's it's you know physiological consequences to that and then the organism itself behaves in a certain biological sense where it has certain behavior patterns in order to meet its needs and so you have an entire uh you know different kind of behavioral analysis details around that and then you get sophisticated right. interactions of of the the primate and what have you and not even the primate my dog that won't take a crap has sophisticated interactions with the world and there's so much to understand about that and then on top of it you get more and and he has relations with other dogs no he doesn't have relations with other dogs he's fixed mm -hmm. but he has interactions with other dogs that aren't as necessarily the ones that I want him to have, but there is a whole science behind dog behavior and human behavior. And then suddenly we get into human, the human mind, culture, anthropology, liter mm -hmm. literature, philosophy, yeah. theology, right? So I believe that those things exist, but if I wanted to focus on it, I'm just yeah. a pile of chemicals, right? And that's, I think, where Phil is failing to see that even with just looking at a at a material uh, cause or ma material way of looking at the world, mm. a, a natural way, let me put it that way, a natural way of looking at the world and our existence, that's more than a lifetime of uh, yeah. beliefs, uh, understandings mm -hmm. to come to understand, to, to, to come to, to contemplate and never get the answer, right? Because as our knowledge grows our ways of acquiring knowledge grows our frameworks for understanding the data we have grows so it's it's endless so yeah that's all i believe in is yeah is everything yeah so i agree and i think exactly what you said um near the beginning of that call is is so valuable is that we can spend you know as much freaking time as we as we have in this simulation or on earth or wherever the heck we actually are just spinning our wheels thinking about you know all the things that technically could be possible but the stuff that we have really good information for to accept as being true it, yeah. it's going to take a long time to really parse all that out and it and it's worth it i think it's much i think it's much more valuable to do that so. dude sr i've but got before I, we grab oh go ahead I'm sorry. We got we got a little bit of a delay. No, go ahead. Dude, like I've got I've got a pretty diverse friend group and I've got people mm -hmm. in the friend group that study freaking worms, okay? They spent their PhD, yeah. right? Hours on on worm science, all right? There are still yeah. innumerable things we don't understand about worms. I've got other friends I know. that decide to spend their brain power on the healing power of crystals okay now they've mm -hmm, made mm -hmm, no new mm -hmm. discoveries about the healing power of crystals but they seem to have the universe on lockdown because all you got to do is get chris cola and different kinds of crystals and you can't you can you can get that healing energy it doesn't work sometimes and and we're no closer uh, uh, to, yeah. to to harnessing the full power the full potential of the crystal right but yeah. it's like to me, it's like why would we spend so much damn time, right, trying to make up a, a, a human centric, an ethnocentric, if you wish, mm -hmm. uh, understanding of a magical universe that never never delivers when you could be studying worms, yeah. 